physics has been a fascination for humanity for generations, in which Europe had always been a hotspot for various scientific developments. Many brilliant minds have worked and changed the course of our understanding of science. In the 5th century BC, Greek philosopher Democritus went out openly and said that the universe was all composed of atoms. Later, in 1897, J.J. Thomson discovered the electron, showing how even atoms were not indivisible but were composed of still tinier particles. The second revolution came in light when the old view of the 19th century physics that considering light a wave was abandoned by the introduction of Planck's hypothesis, which said that radiation propagates in discontinuous packets. Soon, the idea of quantum optics started engulfing the minds of visionary. Enakul Chandi George Sudarshan was born on 16th of September 1931 in the state of Kerala in India. His contribution to the field of quantum optics is an important and yet a dramatic chapter in the course of history. Enakul Sudarshan developed a quantum representation of coherent light. His discovery was later named the Sudarshan Global Representation. This was in fact a significant discovery as the theorem proved the equivalence of classical wave optics to quantum optics and thus ended a long time rivalry between the two. Sudarshan's work had high influence on many brilliant minds like Richard Feynman and Murray Jalman. But even though the contribution was groundbreaking, he was denied for the Nobel Prize in Physics for his seminal work. Controversially, in 2005, Roy J. Glober alone received the Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of Sudarshan Glober representation, which was opposed by many great scientists of the time. Physicist Richard Feynman wrote a letter to Royal Society to describe how important was the role of Professor Sudarshan in the discovery and should be given due credit. Sudarshan's work did not end here. Unmoved by any controversy, later he formed the formalism called the dynamical maps that is one of the most fundamental formalism for the study of open quantum systems. Sudarshan along with Indian physicist Vedyanath Mishra proposed the quantum Zeno effect which states that one can freeze the evolution of the system by measuring it frequently enough in its known initial state. The most exciting of all his discoveries was the formulation of a particle called the tachyons. These particles are said to be able to travel faster than light. Most scientists do not believe that anything can actually travel faster than light, which would mean violating the theory of relativity by Einstein, which says that light speed is a universal constant and can never be surpassed. However, the tachyonic particles could be quanta of a quantum field with imaginary mass and thus could only travel faster than light, not less. Sudarshan is currently engaged in teaching as well as research in the University of Texas and has no mood to retire, as he say that he could go on doing work forever and that scientists do not work for Nobel Prizes. Sudarshan is not the only one. There are lots of Indian geniuses who wait a late giving recognition for their valuable works on various fields. Einstein in a brilliant paper in the year 1916 came up with the idea of general relativity which rejected the idea of gravity, space and time of Newton and proposed that gravity was nothing more than a property of the curvature of space. Their theory consisted of certain complicated equations whose solutions were deliberately typical. Two of the brilliant scientists came out with solutions to Einstein's equations, describing complicated astrophysical phenomena 
like Singularity and Quasars. Amul Kumar Rai Chaudhary came up with the brilliant idea of the Rai Chaudhary equation which demonstrated that singularities arose inevitably in general relativity. The equation serves as a fundamental lemma for the Penrose-Hawking singularity theorems and for the study of exact solutions in general relativity. On the other hand, hailing from Gujarat, Prahalad Junilal Vaidya made another important and distinguished contribution to the relativity by forming the Vaidya radiating matrix which describes the non-empty space-time of a spherically symmetric and non-rotating star which is either emitting or absorbing null dusts. As time went by, evidence very strong started to encircle modern physics that the universe emanated from a single point about 4.3 billion years ago called the Big Bang. The theory was very successful until it started facing questions like when did the universe exactly came to being? Why exactly the time was necessary? How the few moments of Big Bang of the singular point created such vast non-uniform universe? Sooner than the scientific community realized that an alternative theory for the existence of the universe was very much required. Jayant Vishnu Narlikar was born in Kolhapur, Maharashtra. He, along with Sir Fred Hoyle, formulated the confirmal theory of gravity, which dealt with Einstein's relativity with Max principle. The theory was called the hoyle narlikar theory of gravity. The theory proposed that the inertial mass of a particle in a function of the masses of all other particles multiplied by a coupling constant. The theorem suggested that the universe could expand and contract on its own by the verge of its constituent masses. Nalika is also known in India as an institution builder. He is responsible for the setup of the Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics in Pune. He also served as its first director. Earlier, he taught at the prestigious Tata Institute for Fundamental Research where he was a colleague of Professor Sudarshan. Nalika has been an ardent science communicator and still works for the popularization of science in India. Modern-day scientists like Ashok Sen, Abhayash Thekar, Arun K. Pati, Abhas Mitra and others are working deliberately in the field as complicated as string theory, quantum teleportation, black holes and what not. Even though there is a sheer lack of recognition and spirit given to these Indian geniuses, their spirit and longing to prove themselves never comes to halt. Indian science has always benefited the world with its rich discovery when C. V. Raman discovered the Raman effect. S. N. Bose made the boson a household name. M. N. Saha made immense contribution to stellar ionization by the Saha ionization equation. Even in the Vedic times, Aryabhatta and Bhaskara and others created stay with their revolutionary mathematics. There is no doubt that our country faces challenges in the field of research and innovation due to lack of fund and technology. But yet, there is no lack of spirit in Indian minds to unravel the unknown.